topic I'm going to talk about setup and when I talk about setup that includes your posture uh, how we address the ball and, and our alignment basic alignment uh, issues the first thing we want to do when we get set up to the golf ball is we got to know first of all what club we're hitting okay um, one of the biggest questions I always get is where it is the ball in relation to your feet uh, with your uh, high irons your pitching wedge your nine iron your eight iron that ball is typically going to be played about in the middle of your feet. As the club gets longer, you six iron, your five iron, and your four iron, and even into your driver, which is your longest club that you have in your bag, that ball is going to move out towards your left foot. So right here, I've got a seven iron, and if I were to come up and address that ball, I want to put that ball about in the middle of my feet. Now, if this was a four iron, that ball is going to move slightly to my left side, my left foot, and the ball is going to be played a little bit further out in front. The reason for that is the longer club takes longer to come in that circle and make that arc. Your driver, which is your longest club in the bag, is typically played off your left toe or your left heel. So if I had a driver in my hand, that ball is going to be placed inside my left foot. The next question is how far away do we get from the ball? Sometimes players feel like they're too crowded or maybe they're reaching too far for the ball. We want to make sure that you're comfortable, but we also got to make sure that everything that you do, you have a good base and a good form and good posture. The best way to know how far to stand away from the ball is to place the club face directly behind the ball. Make sure that the club is laying flat to the ground and it's, the toe is not up or the heel is not up. With it laying just to the ground, we want to drop it down and now get that good grip that we talked about before, getting our hands on it. Now from that, I can adjust my body either closer or further away. Now a key point is, and this is how I determine how close I need to be to the ball, is when I set up to the ball and I get and I lean in, I want to make sure that my hands are inside this directly down from my eyes. So if I drop this down from my eyes, I do not want my hands to be extended out in front. Again, if I take this and it drops straight down from my eyes, I do not want to be out here reaching for the ball or way in here. I want it to be just right down almost to where I'm looking straight down at, the, at my thumb on my right hand. That's going to let me know exactly how far away I need to be. So I got the club flat to the ground, I get my grip, and then I'm going to make sure that my eyes are looking right down on my top hand. Not too far in, not too far out. We don't ever want to feel like we're reaching for the ball. If your hands are too far out and you feel like you're reaching for the ball, you're going to lose a lot of power. The other things that we need to talk about on posture is our stance. We want to make sure that our feet are about shoulder width apart. That's going to give you optimal balance. It's going to allow for a good hip rotation, but at the same time, it's going to help you keep, stay balanced throughout your swing. So now I've got the club flat. I've got my hands down. I check my eyes. My feet are shoulder width apart. We want to make sure that we create a spine angle. We don't want to be standing up there with our back straight, and we certainly don't want to hunch too far. We want to make sure that our back is straight, and we create a spine angle in order to, that's going to be the basis of our swing. That is basically the backbone of our swing. Now, what's very important is that we maintain that spine angle throughout the swing. So, if I lean and I create a spine angle right here, I want to make sure that I take that swing, that back swing, and I maintain that spine angle all the way through the swing. And even through the down swing, we don't want to raise up or dip in. That's what you hear golfers say, I raised my head or I picked my head up or I dropped down. That's the spine angle. If you lose your spine angle, then you basically lose the formation of your swing altogether. So whatever that spine angle it is that you decide that you want to have, you need to maintain that spine angle throughout the swing. 
There's no right or wrong answer as to how much you do your spine angle. Obviously, I would not want to see somebody hunched over this far, but people that have had back problems and, uh, and issues with their lower back will tend to stand straight up. That's fine, as long as that spine angle stays constant throughout the swing. The last thing is our knees. We want to make sure that we bend our knees just a little bit. We can't do any sport straight-legged. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up, we're going to put the club down behind the ball, make sure the club face is square. We're going to check our hands, make sure they're inside our eyes. We get our good grip, feet are shoulder width apart, and now I'm going to create my spine angle. I'm going to try to make sure that my back is nice and straight. From that point on, we're going to just give a little bit of knee bend. Not too much knee bend because the more you bend your knees, the more you're shifting the weight back. And we certainly do not want our weight in our heels. If you have the weight into your heels, then what's going to happen as you swing is you're going to fall away from the ball. If the weight is too far into the toes, you're also going to fall into it and you're going to hit a lot of shots off the hosel. So we want to make sure that we have a good, good balance. The weight is in the balls of our feet. Make sure that your spine is nice and straight. However much you want to do your spine angle is fine. Make sure that you have good balance and that's the keys to a good posture. Now, we want to maintain that posture with, that, with every single club that we have. Now, obviously there are some clubs that are shorter and some clubs that are longer. The shorter the club, we're going to have to obviously bring our feet a little bit closer to get into that same posture. Here my feet are shoulder width apart, seven iron, the ball is played in the middle of my stance. My hands are straight down from my eyes, my spine nice and straight. This is going to be my posture for a seven iron. Now if I were to go to a driver, I want to try to achieve that same posture, but in order to do so, I'm going to have to scoot further away. Again, my feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart now, just because it's a little bit longer club. Notice the ball is now played on my left side in front of my left foot. My back is angled and straight. My hands directly below my eyes. My knees slightly flexed, not too, flex, put, not too much flex putting the weight in my heels. We want to try to achieve the same posture, the same setup for every single club. Consistency. As soon as you start consistently gripping the club the same way every single time and setting up over the ball the same way every single time, now you can start getting some consistency into your swing. Recapping what we just talked about on posture, there's a neat technique that uh, will help you uh, get into the proper posture every single time. Uh, beginners, uh, when, I, when I first started playing golf, this is how I set up to the ball every single time and make sure that you get uh, set up consistently and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that technique with you right now. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to place your hands on the club with the grip and you're going to hold the club directly out in front of you just like this. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lower the club down towards the ground until you feel your tricep touch your chest. As soon as you feel some pressure right here, then you know you're good. At this point, we're going to hinge at the, at the waist, leaning, keeping our back straight. And at, once we get about an inch to two inches off the ground, we're just going to flex our knees. Again, hands, feet shoulder width apart, hands directly out, lower it down till you feel it touch your chest, bend at the waist, and then flex the knees. It's a great way to make sure that you're getting into the proper posture every single time. And that'll help make sure you have consistency in your setup. When talking about setup, we also got to talk about alignment. Uh, making sure that our body is aligned towards our target. Make sure that when we hit the ball, it's actually going to go into the direction that we think it's going to go in. And uh, one of the main things we want to do with our alignment is just make sure that our feet our hips and shoulders are square to our target line. So what we want to do is we want to pick out a target. Let's say uh, we want to hit down here to, this, uh, to the red flag on the, 
sitting down here in the range. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down an alignment stick. Alignment sticks are great um, training aids that you can use when you're out hitting golf balls and just, and just practicing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that stick and I'm going to line it up to my target. Now I'm going to put down a second alignment stick where my feet are to go. And I want these two sticks to be parallel to each other. Now as I come in and I address the ball and get into my posture that we talked about, I want to make sure that my feet are square, which is also going to mean my feet are parallel to my target line. Now with my feet equidistant from the ball, my hips are now square and my shoulders are now square. I'm going to go ahead and hit a shot for you going through the steps. First I'm going to put the club face down, make sure it's straight. I'm going to get my grip. Knees slightly flexed, back bent straight, my feet are square to my line, shoulders square to my line, I'm ready to make a golf swing. And as you can see that went towards our target so that was a success. Um, when talking about alignment, this is the one tip that I will give, and you'll see many professional golfers do this if you watch TV, watch them on the tournaments, watching the Masters this weekend, actually. You'll see the players stand behind their ball. And what they're doing when they stand behind their ball is they're actually visualizing a target line. So they stand behind and they're looking, and they're looking down the ball and drawing a line in their mind of where they want that ball to go. Now they use that when they approach the ball, they, they've got an imaginary line right here of what their target is going to be. Now with that imaginary line in place, it's going to be easy to square up your feet to my target line and now I can square up my body on that target line because I know that that's where I want my ball to go. So when you're on the golf course and you see people standing behind their ball, that's exactly what they're doing. They're actually walking behind their ball. They're trying to get a visual of where they want that ball to go and the, and the line that they need to hit that ball on in order to get it to their target. They, after they come up with that imaginary line or that target line, then they address the ball, they get into their posture, and they use that line as the line to square them up. Now, it's against the rules to go out on the golf course and place something down on the ground to give you any kind of guidance. But if you see a leaf or a divot or anything like that, you can use that as, as a guide of, 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 your, of your target line. So if you see something and you see a leaf on the ground, you can maybe use that leaf to help form that target line or that imaginary line that you're going to use for setup. But you're not able to take something, pick it up, put it there, and then use that as a reference or a guideline for your swing. 